we're going to take a look at an experiment in which we have two loudspeakers playing the same note. Because the sound waves from the speakers are going to form an interference pattern, you're going to hear changes in the sound as we move one speaker relative to the other. Right. If you stand in a place that's equidistant from two speakers, it's going to be loud. If we move one toward you, it goes quiet after half a wavelength, loud again after one, quiet after one and a half, loud again after two, and it just continues in that pattern. So when you're standing here, you'd hear woo, 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 woo as you move the, um, as you move the speaker. So first, I'm going to play a 1700 hertz tone from these two speakers. I'm going to move this speaker um, toward you and move it a distance of 1.2 meters. The thing to look out for is you're going to hear six maxima, or, or six places in which the volume is the loudest when I move 1.2 meters. Um, so be sure to turn up your volume so you can hear this. Well, and as advertised, you heard a six maxima when I moved 1.2 meters. Uh, so what that means is that the wavelength of the sound waves coming from these speakers is 1.2 divided by six or 0.2 meters. And so since we know the frequency and the wavelength, we can find the wave velocity by multiplying the frequency times the wavelength. And we get that the speed of sound is about 340 meters per second. Next, I'm going to turn up the frequency uh, to 3400 hertz. And notice that you're going to hear more peaks because with a higher frequency, the wavelength will be shorter. Um, so be on the lookout for about 12 maxima when I move the speaker. Again, as advertised, you heard about 12 maxima when I moved 1.2 meters. Well, that means that we can find the wavelength uh, to be a tenth of a meter. Since we moved 1.2 meters and there were 12 uh, peaks, 12 maxima, that is uh, 0.1 meters for each wavelength. And so what we can then do is, again, find the wave velocity by multiplying the frequency times the wavelength. And we get, again, that the speed of sound is 340 meter per second, uh, independent of the frequency. I'm going to bump up the frequency a little bit more so you'll get an even higher pitch tone, which will make the waves even shorter. Um, and so now I'm going to move the speaker 1.2 meters again, and you're going to hear more maxima because the waves are now shorter. So be on the lookout for more maxima. Again, as advertised, we heard even more maxima than the previous trial. Um, and again, since we know how many maxima there were in 1.2 meters, um, we can find out what the wavelength is. So in this case, the wavelength is a little shorter, 0.071 meters. And again, we can find the wave velocity since we know the frequency and wavelength. Um, so again, within rounding errors, we have uh, another uh, measurement of the speed of sound being close to 340 meters per second. So we'll do one final trial. I'm going to go way up to uh, 6,800 hertz. I apologize for this one. Um, the waves are going to be quite short, so you're going to hear quite a few more maxima when I move the speaker.
right, I hope you enjoyed that noise. Uh, when I moved the speaker, you heard many more maxima, and so we can figure out how long uh, each wave, or what, a, what one wavelength is. So dividing the 1.2 meters by 24, you get uh, 0.05 meters. They're only about five centimeter long waves. And again, we can get the wave speed uh, using V equals F lambda. So multiplying the frequency by the wavelength, again, we get a speed of about 340 uh, meters per second. So let's take a little closer look at why we're hearing these changes in volume as we move the speaker. What this is supposed to be a model of is really any source of waves that for which the waves are spreading in all directions. So it could be you tapping a finger in the surface of a pond and the ripples are going out, or it could be a speaker, uh, you know, going and just sending the, those sound waves at that um, particular frequency and wavelength out into the environment. So um, really any source of waves, okay? So um, I've got here a second source of waves, and what you can see is, of course, if the two sources are exactly in the same location, so I'm laying one piece of this film right over top of the other, you can see if they're in exactly the same location, then no matter where I stand, I'm the same distance from both sources. So the path difference has to be zero everywhere. And so what was happening, I would hear loud sound everywhere if these were speakers. The, the sound waves would pass by and the air pressure would go high, low, high, low, high, low as that um, went past my ears. Okay, well now what you can see is if I move one source relative to the other, let's suppose you're standing here and now I move one slightly away. Now you can see that over here where you're standing, it just went from being very loud to quiet, okay? So you went from, from, from it being extremely loud here, I just moved it a little bit, it gets, it gets quiet, all right? This, this all goes dark, and then you'll see me move it again, you'll see it goes light again, and then dark again, and then light again, and then dark again, right? So if you were moving the speaker, uh, one speaker toward you as you're, as you're standing here right now at this moment, it looks like it would be quiet, and then it would go, and it would make noises like that. Now in the experiment we did in class, you, we had the, the sources separated like this, let's say, and you were standing here listening to loud sound. And then when we moved the speaker, it, you could hear it go quiet, loud, quiet, loud, like this. Just to take a, a look at what's happening, okay? When you're standing right here, here the two, the two speakers are separated by a bit, and you're standing along the midline, of the speaker and of the speaker so of course it's it's pretty it's pretty loud you're equidistant from the two speakers okay if i move one speaker toward you suddenly it goes quiet okay so you see that 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 line of like darkness i guess kind of swept over um swept over toward you now what's happening is where you're standing i've moved one speaker exactly half a wavelength forward toward you now if i move it even closer to you, now it gets loud again. Okay, now I've moved it toward you and it's gotten loud again. Now what's happen happening is you are exactly one wavelength closer to this speaker than to the other one, okay? So as it turns out to, to be able to understand these patterns, if the two sources are on top of each other, no matter where you stand, and let's say you stand here, the, the path difference is zero because it's you're the same distance from both speakers okay now if I move one speaker closer to you it goes quiet now you're exactly the the path difference is one half of a wavelength okay now it's still loud up here because here you're equidistant from the two speakers right so it's still loud here but here it's gone quiet because now one speaker is half a wavelength closer to you now I'll move it again okay notice here it has gotten loud again where, where you're standing. So here, one speaker is exactly one wavelength closer to you than the other, okay? Now it's one and a half wavelengths closer. Now it's two wavelengths closer. Now it's two and a half. Now it's three, okay? And it's gotten loud again. If you were to stumble upon this pattern with, with the things, with the speakers arranged just like this, right, you can tell that it would be loud here because you have this variation in pressure as these waves go by right? Um, here it's quiet, here it's loud, here it's quiet, here it's loud, here it's quiet, here it's loud. If you look here, right, these two speakers are split positioned like this. If you look here where my finger is, it's equidistant from each speaker. So the path difference is zero. So of course it's loud. Then if you move to the first quiet spot, 
that is a path difference of one half a wavelength. The wave from this speaker has had to go exactly half a wavelength farther than the wave from that speaker. So it's path difference of zero, path difference of one half, path difference of one, it's loud again, one and a half, two, two and a half, and then here you can tell that the speakers are three wavelengths apart, okay? Um, right, there's a path difference here because this speaker is closer to this person than this speaker is, okay? The path difference here has to be zero in the, along the midline here because you're, you're equidistant from the two speakers, right? So just to play with this again, let me make a new little pattern here. I'm gonna go off in this direction, okay? So now the two wave sources are here and here. You can tell that it's loud there, well, because it's equidistant from two speakers. Path difference is zero. Then you just have to count. Here the path difference is one half. Here the path difference is one. Here the path difference is one and a half. So apparently these two speakers are one and a half wavelengths apart, right? You can see this actually with a pretty complex pattern, like if I move them way out like this. Um, it's kind of neat. All you have to do is, is uh, count. So always along the, the midline, let's say between the two here, here's the two speakers, this path difference must be zero. And then you can just count one half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half over here where it would be quiet. So apparently these two speakers are four and a half wavelengths apart. Right. So again, to reconnect with the demonstration we saw in, or heard in class in the video, right? If you stand in a place that's equidistant from two speakers, it's going to be loud. If we move one toward you, it goes quiet after half a wavelength, loud again after one, quiet after one and a half, loud again after two, and it just continues in that pattern. So when you're standing here, you'd hear woo 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 as you move the um, as you move the speaker around.